Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle Morius and I make art tutorials that are fun, easy, and accessible for everyone. Before we get into the video, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below, I subscribed, and I'll be sure to get back to each and every one of you. Today we're gonna to be doing this close-up of a cow in pan pastels and carbothello pastel pencils. Also a little bit of hard pastel. So I'm going in with my background, with my pan pastels and my soft tool. And I'm adding a base layer of blue and then I'm going uh, over it with some white for the cloudy background. Now I'm just mapping in where my cow is so I don't lose track of where I'm going in the piece. So I'm just giving myself some guidelines. And as always, I transferred my image to begin with on a piece of tracing paper and then I put some soft pastel on the back. I flipped it over and I went over it with a pencil which left the white outline that you see on the pastel mat. So we're just mapping in our colors right now. You don't have to be too fussy with the details. You just want to get the color down uh, represented on the pastel mat. And you're not going to go in with too many details right now. You're just going to Put the color down and get a good base layer going so that it leaves something for us to blend with. It also pushes the pastel into the tooth of the paper and therefore it allows more uh, tooth to add more layers later on when we go in with our details. Blending is so much easier when you have a base layer down underneath everything and the pastels are so creamy that they just want to blend together. So once you get that first layer down, everything else goes so much easier and it's so much easier to get um, everything blended out and, and creamy. You really want to establish where your highlighted areas are, where your lightest areas are, and you kind of want to preserve those from the get-go. Um, because it's harder to put uh, a bright white highlight over something that's darker. So I like to map those in in the beginning and then I have them for later on and you can still blend other colors in with it. Uh, it's just a lot easier if you want a bright area to keep those pure from the very start. I really love these soft tools. They're um, kind of like a little sponge applicator and I like to use my fingers too. I like to get myself into the drawing, but those soft tools really blend everything out nice and creamy, and you don't feel like nails on a chalkboard. Um, if you don't like that part of the pastel, those soft tools are really um, a great uh, tool to have. So I'm still just representing all my colors in. I have my little tiny uh, soft tool. It looks like a little eyeshadow brush and it gets into all those little tiny areas. And you'll see me go in sometimes with a little blending stump too, um, depending on what, what I'm doing and which part I'm going into. So now I'm kind of getting a little bit more into the details, just adding a little bit more um, as I go along. Since I have that good base layer down, everything um, really comes together a lot easier. So I'm just going in and refining my uh, detailed little areas. Not putting in all the little hairs yet, but uh, we'll, we'll start adding those in uh, as we go along in each section. And you'll see, sometimes I'll blend it out a little bit more, sometimes I'll leave it in there. So it just depends on how, how the drawing is going. So in the nose, there's a lot of um, black spots, but there's also all these little kind of um, nodules and, and areas on the mouth. So we're gonna get those in and the little wrinkles and things, we'll add those in as we go along. 
So I'm just going back into my background a little bit, especially around the cow, because I wanna have my background pretty much the way I want it so that when I go in and I start putting the little hairs on, the cow actually looks like he's in the space and he's not just pasted in and in kind of the background's going around him. So I like the little hairs and things to go over the background. That's the reason why I do that first. So I just wanted to make sure that that was all set before I start going in with too many details and then have to go back and try to uh, paste it in there. Now there really wasn't the right shade of pink for the nose, um, so I went in with kind of a more orangey reddish shade, and then I'm mixing it with a little bit of white and a little bit of a light pink shade. So we're, we can blend those together right on the paper to create a different color. And now with your pan pastels, you can actually blend those on a separate piece of paper and mix them together to create new colors. So I'll do a video on that um, down the road. I spent quite a lot of time on the nose trying to get it right because it's like kind of in your face, the, the picture is so in your face. And I think that was so endearing and that's why I picked this reference image. And I'll put a link below as to um, where I got that, as well as all the materials that I'm using today. Now, I just keep going into that nose and you'll see I keep changing it and adding more color and blending it out. And um, it's just one of those things. Sometimes you get stuck on an area and, and you just can't get it right. You just gotta keep going. And you always have to finish your stuff too. So you just keep plug along. If you need to take a break, you just take a little break and you go back to it with some fresh perspective. So we're going in with our little hairs and our little details now at this point. We're just gonna jump all over the place and try to see what we can do. Um, getting those curly fur at the top of the head and the little hairs that are gonna go on the edge of the ears and things. Now I'm going in, I'm putting in all those fine little details, the little bumps in the nose and the little lines, trying to give my ears a little more fur and just kind of touching up and adding a little bit more um, contrast where I need it to be and just cleaning everything up at this point.
If you guys enjoyed this video today and maybe followed along with me, please leave me a comment below. I love hearing from you guys and I do get back to every single one of you. I want to thank you so much and happy art.